Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to tdcat.com. Today we are looking at this. This is the Astro Mini external battery, uh, 3200 milliampere hour charger, so basically a power bank from Anker. Um, we're just going to do uh, an unbox and we're also going to do a um, calculation of what we think you'll probably get from this and then we'll also do a test as well to try and uh, get a better idea of how it actually performs. So this is the box it comes in, very nicely packaged actually, made in China and uh, they come in a variety of colours. This one is the uh, silver version. And uh, I think the whole kind of marketing and and uh, and the way that uh, Anchor do their products and the sort of like transparency, I guess, and uh, from Anchor is usually pretty good. So uh, we would hope for good results from these. We'd expect them to use fairly good uh, good products and good sales. So uh, so we'll just take it take it out of its box. And I have had this out of its box previously, so um, this isn't a strict sort of original unboxing, if you like. But Let's take it out, and this is there's the device itself. It is very straightforward, just a single USB port on top to uh, charge your device, and then you've got your input here to uh, recharge the device itself. And then if we can have a look at the end, I'll just try and get this in the light correctly so you can see the specs and then refocus the camera. Can you see that? Yeah, something, something like that. You should be, able, you might be able to see that. I think. There you can just take a look at the specs there. So, this is really just one single lithium-ion cell, packed in a very nice, nicely presented case. Basically, it's a probably an eighteen six fifty cell in a case, and it's rated at thirty two hundred milliamp per hour, which is about about right for an 18650. Um, I actually bought this with it, which is just a lightning, you know, very short lightning cable, because I thought that I thought that plugging this in like this and just having it just on a on a short cable like that was a really sort of compact and nice, neat way to use it. And it so far it has proven to be. Uh, it's being used actually by uh, by my partner to charge her iPhone 5 if she's kind of stuck or she's on a train or something like that. She's got an iPhone 5 and it does a good job of charging that. But we're gonna test it today on an iPhone 6 Plus because I'm interested to know whether or not it will recharge an iPhone 6 Plus. So yeah, so standard five volt USB out and it's uh, you can charge this pretty much from just a sort of one amp or two amp charger. It doesn't matter, you have a little button there to test it shows you currently that it's uh, fully charged and ready to go. Well, it doesn't really give you much indication. It just kind of gives you a green or an amber, amber when it's charging and it goes off when it's fully charged. And, and that's about it, really. So 3200 milliampere hour, how much can you realistically expect it to do? Well, of course, 3200, well, I'll tell you what, just before we do this, let's just check what else is in the box. So you also get a uh, welcome guide, nicely done with a, a little bit around their power up their power IQ which is their kind of promotional thing around uh, the uh, circuitry that's actually within here and how complex that is I'm really not too sure but uh, uh, their circuitry to be able to detect which device it's connected to and charge it appropriately for that device which is kind of it's more of a selling point but fair enough it, it works you know it's fine uh, they just go through technical specs, how to charge it, how to use it with other devices, how to check if it has, and there's a couple of facts in here. It's actually quite a nice little book um, for what is just a power bank, a very basic power bank. And you've got a little customer support thing. It also comes with a pouch. I'm not a big fan of these things, firstly, because mainly because they feel horrible. They're made of nasty material. And I don't really want to start putting this in here. It, I mean, you can protect it, but it's pretty sturdy. It's a solid, solid casing. Um, it's not a plastic casing, it's a metal casing. So it's not gonna get too, um, it's not gonna get too damaged. If it gets knocked about a bit, it won't do it any harm. It's just a battery in there at the end of the day. Uh, and that's about it. There was a cable with it as well, to, just a short cable to be able to take it from a power pack into here, into the input to recharge the device. But of course, 
uh, you don't get the charger with these. You'll have to uh, source a suitable charger for the device separately. So just going back to the front of the box, they're the colors that it comes in. You've got the blue, the black, the silver, which is this one, the pink and the yellow. Uh, and we're just sort of thinking about, well, what can you expect to get from this? 3,200 milliamp per hour. Right, so my iPhone 6 Plus is 2,900 milliamp per hour battery. That assumes the battery's working kind of still, still at full capacity. Uh, so let's do some basic maths on this and convert it into convert it into watts to start with. So um, uh, so a lithium ion cell actually runs at 3.7 volts. So we'll do 3.7 volts multiplied by 3200, so 3.2. And that gives this battery a rating of 11.84 watts. Okay, so we wanna convert it back. Now we know that it's 11.84, we wanna convert it back so it's 11. 84 divided by the voltage that we know it to be operating at, which is the five volts at USB, uh, five volt USB voltage. And there's your true capacity of this device. So it's 2,368 milliamp per hour. Okay, so that's not probably gonna be enough, is it, to charge an iPhone 6 Plus, which has a battery of a higher capacity than that. Particularly then when you start taking into account that the electronics within here, the uh, power inverters and what have you, or the, uh, and, the, and the fact that you just lose various uh, bits of energy from through heat and things like that. Let's take off uh, 10%, so i do that multiplied by 0.9. And we're down to 2131. And then take into account that this cell, the cell within here, is probably not absolutely perfect. In you know, it's not. It's, it's rated at 3,200 milliamp per hour, but it probably doesn't work at exactly that. So let's say, let's say 2,000. So can we realistically expect this to charge a an iPhone 6 Plus? Probably not. iPhone 6, yes. An iPhone 5, yes. And many of your other smartphone types but if you take the 6 with its 2900 ish um, milliamp per hour battery then i would think it's going to have some problems so i'm going to hook it up to my iphone now in fact i'm just going to go and get my iphone let's plug this in and just press the button here to start things up There we go, you can see that's charging now. So I'm just gonna leave that running and see how much we can increase the charge from 3% on an iPhone 6 Plus using the Anker Astro Mini external battery. Okay, welcome back and we are done. This is really quite warm, actually. And it's turned off. The green light on the Anker uh, power bank starts flashing when it's um, getting low. And we managed to get up to 76%. That's from 3% on an iPhone 6 Plus. We got up to 76% using this on a full charge which is sort of pretty much in line with the calculations that we did earlier. Uh, that suggested we would have got to probably about 70%, so we did a little bit more than that. And, um, mm. <laughs> smells like, um, smells like components. <laughs> I know some of you out there will know what I mean when I say that. Uh, so, it's, so it's pretty warm and that may impact, the, the, the temperature it's got to may impact its charging capability, but the simple fact of the matter is you cannot charge an iPhone 6 Plus with this cell. There we go. Test complete.